So the Ruckus WAN gateway is an edge router and it has solutions that are specifically tailored for different verticals, whether you're running a hospitality environment or maybe you're in a multi-dwelling unit scenario or a large public venue or even a service provider. Uh, this device has features that you can utilize in all of those scenarios to achieve uh, the type of connectivity that you're looking for. While the network requirements for those environments do vary, the Ruckus WAN gateway integrates a lot of services into one device, so you don't have to go and buy a dedicated router or a device that does radius or captive portals or firewalls or even SD-WAN because we integrate those services directly into the Ruckus WAN gateway. We can do routing, we can do micro-segmentation, we can do firewalling, uh, we can do SD-WAN, it can be your DHCP, your DNS server, we can do DPSK, we can provide captive portals. We can also import our smart zone and our ICX devices to actually manage our wireless and wired environments. We can do some auto configuration there. We can do zero touch provisioning. We can do a whole lot. And we're gonna get into some of those demonstrations a little bit later in subsequent videos. For a deeper dive into the features and functions of the Ruckus WAN gateway, check out the solution overview documentation provided on the Ruckus wireless support site at the URL shown. The Ruckus WAN gateway can be deployed as a bare metal instance or within a virtual machine environment. The sizing of bare metal deployments depends on the needs of the network. Typically, the amount of users that the network will support correlates directly with the number of resources required for the Ruckus WAN gateway. There are several Dell hardware configurations that will meet the resource needs for RWG deployments in any environment. Micro to small scale deployments begin with the Dell Edge Gateway 5200, moving up to the Dell PowerEdge R250, PowerEdge XR5610, XR7620, and finally the PowerEdge R760 for very large deployments. A resource calculator is available to help you determine what the required resources are for a Ruckus WAN gateway based on your environment. In this example, we can see I have a DPL or data plane license set to 99, which represents the number of concurrently connected devices that are being managed by my RWG instance. And after configuring 99, we can see that there are minimum and recommended resource requirements shown here. If we change this to a DPL of 1000, we can see how that impacts the minimum requirements as well as recommended resources. We can then map that back to the Dell offerings that we previously discussed to see where we fit within that hardware range. Ruckus also provides professional services to integrate and configure RWG deployments tailored to your environment. More information on these services can be found at partners.ruckuswireless.com. I hope that gives you some insight into what the Ruckus WAN gateway is and can do. And I'm hoping that you'll join me for upcoming demonstration videos where we walk through the basic installation, configuration, as well as explore some common use cases for RWG.